guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. Sherry here. How's it going? So I thought up a new spread that I thought I would show to you guys. Uh, we're still in the full moon energy, so this will just be, you know, a quick update on uh, the twin flame energy uh, in present moment. So I'm calling this spread uh, the crossroads. So there's going to be seven cards for the feminine, seven for the masculine. So I'm using. Um, the Terra Luminati for the masculine size. So I'm just going to pull the cards first and then we'll go through positions. Okay. And this is going to be the bottom of the deck. So I'll just put that up there for now. And I'm also using the Eller Shaw. Okay, so this is going to be for the feminine. And I guess all it's doing, it's just comparing energies. To, yeah, okay. All right. So I'll be looking. Oh, yeah, I already put the bottom of the deck up. Oh, my God. Metro, Mer Mercury retrograde. I cannot talk at all. Okay. So, beginning um, with this card up here, this is going to be how the masculine feels about himself. And I'm just going to pull the cards, go through the positions, um, and just kind of look at the energy overall after I pull them. So, uh, how the masculine um, feels about himself. Okay, I have, oh no, I thought it was in reverse, sorry. Okay, so the way he feels about himself. So, this is judgment, the grand awakening. So, he's being, he's hearing the call. Uh, you know, call to a higher consciousness, to a different reality. So, you know, maybe he's making some major realizations in his life and, um, you know, seeing how a lot of his behavior has been conditioned, um, ruled by society, uh, you know, and family members and that kind of thing. So he's playing out roles and he, he's realizing how he's been essentially locked within this prison, this matrix system. So he's starting to um, hear those wake-up calls, right? So he may even be seeing, like, synchronicities and stuff like that, you know, the 11-11 synchronicity. Um, so how does the feminine feel about herself? Ten of Pentacles, wow very grounded very successful energy so this is a long-term goal realized uh, so this me may mean that she is focusing on a on the 3d reality a long-term goal or it just you know she feels so incredibly grounded and fulfilled within her life um, you know she's not looking to the outside world for uh, any anything right um, there's no neediness here she feels like she's attained it all already so beautiful energy. Um, so, you know, this is like the Ten of Cups manifested into the 3D reality. So this is material, th physical manifestation. Um, but you feel it in the 3D reality, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be um, material manifestation, but it's, it's just that feeling in the 3D reality that you have reached your goals. 
Um, or it could mean that she feels her the end is near. Do you know what I mean? That this happily happy ending and fulfillment of wishes are within reach. So how does the masculine feel about the feminine is the Six of Pentacles. So this is being receptive, being open to sharing and giving and uh, receiving energy. So um, this energy definitely was felt in the Twin Flame um, full moon reading I just did, you know, receptivity. So he feels like he wants to be open to the feminine. He wants to share himself with her. Uh, you know, um, receive and, and give as much as she is. Uh, this card is also the cohabitation card, so it's like sharing your life with somebody in the, in the 3D reality. And because it's in this position, how he feels about the feminine, there's this openness in the 3D. Okay, so how does the feminine feel about the masculine? It's the star card, wish granted. So she feels that her hopes and are, her, her hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true. Um, and this card is also the hope card, so it offers hope for the future, saying that the worst is over now. So right now it feels like the feminine is either healing the masculine or receiving healing energy from the masculine. So it's a very soothing, calming, uh, beautiful energy to be in. You know, very, um, very balanced emotionally. Because there's a lot of water. I was just looking at the cups. I can't remember how it goes, but I know that she's pouring one cup out, but it's actually going against the flow of the, um, you know, the laws of nature and flowing into the upper cup. Uh, and I can't remember what that symbolizes, but, you know, she has power over natural law almost. Okay, so what does he want the, uh, the feminine to know? That he loves her, the Two of Cups. Oh, that's so beautiful. That, you know, this is a spiritual union, that he can feel her in the 5D. He thinks about her. He loves her. Um, you know, he wants to reunite with her. So he may be having a lot of 5D, um, you know, kind of sensation or activation energy. Um, he may be thinking about the feminine a lot and, you know, that's, that's awakening him to the twin flame journey, right? It's, you know, he's seeing how important the feminine is on his journey. So he's making these realizations and it's opening up his heart. It's freeing his spirit, right? Um, freeing his spirit in the 5D realm so that he can be open in the, the 3D. Oops. Okay, so how, what does the feminine want the mask, or what does the feminine want the masculine to know? Yes, sorry about that. Wow, the king of pentacles. Uh, she wants him to know that he makes her feel complete, whole, that um, you, you know, the masculine is everything she's ever wanted. She feels, um, you know, this could also mean that she, she wants to be with him in the 3D. The King of Pentacles is the earth 3D king that you can hold and feel. Um, or sh this could mean that, you know, the, the Ten of Pentacles is easily you know, is what the, the King of Pentacles has achieved. Um, you know, it's kind of neat how, if you look at the King's eyes, he's kind of looking up at the Ten of Pentacles up here in the corner. Uh, this could also mean that she is the King of Pentacles, that she feels successful, independent, and 
she is focusing her attention on manifesting in a 3D reality. So even though the body, um, you know, appears to be uh, turned towards the masculine, her attention is elsewhere. But she's very much there in spirit, and she is she's creating a reality that is healthy, healing. Um, soothing, grounded, you know, and normally, you know, it's a masculine who's the provider. Um, I myself, I take on more of a masculine energy, so I've always been the provider, you know, so I've always been in this kind of role. So for me, it's like, you know, I'm doing my thing. You don't have to worry about me. I, I can take care of myself. Um, and I want to share that with you. I want to share my abundance. You know, this is the, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very grounded. Um, very, or not necessarily grounded, but very, um, you know what, I'm actually going to read, I'm being called to read um, from the Osho Zen, the King of Pentacles. So, Normally, it kind of depicts this Buddha-like person. Um, and, of course, they're sitting on a lotus flower. You know, there's this rainbow vortex that's open above the masculine. And there's a balance between the sun and the moon. But anyways, um, I just wanted to read this to you. Okay, so this Dioncian character is, is the very picture of a whole man. Azorba, the Buddha, who can drink wine, dance on the beach, and sing in the rain, and at the same time enjoy the depths of understanding and wisdom that belong to the sage. In one hand, he holds a lotus, showing that he respects and contains within himself the grace of the feminine. His exposed chest and open heart and relaxed belly show that he is at home with his masculinity as well, um, utterly self-contained. The four elements of the earth, fire, water, and sky, all conjunct at the king of rainbow who sits atop the book of wisdom of life. Oh, sorry, I thought you were sitting on a lotus. Um, if you are a woman, the king of rainbow brings the support of your own male energies into your life. A union with the soul mate within. For man, this card represents a time of breaking through the conventional male stereotype and allowing the fullness of the whole human being to shine forth so what I was kind of feeling with that is you know what she wants him to know is that she feels like that Buddha that she feels you know completely balanced within herself the male and the feminine aspect and you know she's just in this happy jolly energy giving energy Okay, so what is at the heart for the masculine? Nine of Swords. So, nightmares, night terrors, inability to sleep, anxiety, stress. He's, he's really afraid to speak his mind, to tell the feminine um, how he feels. You know, the nine is nearing the completion of a cycle, so there is this major fear that stopping him and it's at the heart okay so I'm gonna pull an extra card just to find out because that's pretty heavy energies to be sharing in the heart space you know these two cards here are pretty much side by side right at the heart um, so hopefully the feminine is providing you know she is she's she is sending out this beautiful healing vibration okay so what do you mean by the nine of swords spirit in the heart space please things will stay the same okay so he he is deeply in love with the feminine there's no doubt about it he knows that this connection is you know at the soul he feels um, you know that you are his near his reflection and he he wants to be with the feminine but 
he feels he can't move forward. He's stuck. He feels that things are going to be, stay the same. They're always going to be stagnant. So maybe he feels locked into um, an arrangement. But of course, these are all thoughts within his own mind. So he can free himself if he so desires, right? Okay, so what is in the feminine's heart space? Nice. I was hoping to see something like that. So the Knight of Cups. So the knight in shining armor. So she's sending out, again, more loving vibrations. This is a desire to move forward. It is movement forward. Um, and it is, you know, just, it's courting energy, um, you know, wanting to connect, wanting to be together. It's a longing energy as well. But uh, at the heart space, she feels this movement forward, um, desiring for this connection to come together. And since I pulled one card for clarifier, I'm just being called to call, uh, pull another one. Okay, so confusion or delay. So even though there is the sense that things aren't moving, that they're staying the same, you know, um, she is she is enthusiastic and she's still sending that love vibration out into the universe. You know, and the horse and, and the rider is facing away from the connection, but, you know, it's almost like she's sharing her love for all. Um, and maybe because her attention is turned away from this connection, maybe, you know, it's causing the masculine to fear a little bit more, you know, that he might lose her. But she's your twin flame, your soulmate, you know, there's... You will never, you will never lose the, your true love. You know, your true love will never desert you by journey. Love that song. Um, okay, so the masculine, um, what does he want for the relationship? Is to move forward. Of course he does. The Knight of Wands. And so this is very passionate energy, sexual um, like really, uh, driven passion. Uh, this could also be creativity, but I mean, obviously he, he wants to move forward. You know, this is gasoline being poured on the fire. Um, and this is spirituality as well. And I really like how both of these horses are rearing up in the, the two different decks. So it's, it's like love and, and passion. Um, colliding so he wants to move forward he wants to be in that space with you right and but there's something a fear that's holding him back so let's pull a card for that okay so why okay that is what he wants there's no there's no question that he wants to move forward so let's just see what spirit has to say here forget them or block them out so He's been trying to ignore and forget about the feminine. He, you know, and that's why he's having those stabbing thoughts. Um, he desires to be with her in the 3D reality, but it's like every time he replays this, this movie of how he's actually going to make it happen, you know, for the union to come together, he, he, he comes becomes plagued with negative thoughts, right? And, um, and, and kind of goes into retreat or, or is, holds himself back. And it's this energy of holding himself back that is, you know, causing so much anxiety for him. Um, okay, so I just want to make sure I got them in the right spots here. Okay, so... Um, what does the feminine want for the relationship? Two of pentacles. So she wants balance. She wants harmony. She wants, you know, this card is all about resilience, bending with the wind, feeling unsteady, but, you know, just kind of blending in with the environment instead of trying to, to change it. Uh, but ultimately, 
feeling balance. It could also um, feel like being pulled in two different directions. So what she wants for the connection or relationship is for there to be re receptivity, for there to be a balanced energy um, between the two. So, you know, I'm just going to pull from the top of the deck since we're going with that. Be a student or follow. What I'm getting from that is a reminder to the masculine that she is also a student. She makes mistakes. Um, she's learning. She... I don't know. Let's just continue on. That one's a difficult one. Okay, so what is a challenge? Success, six of wands, success and victory for the masculine. So this is a feeling of being a rock star, people cheering you on, you know, you're on the right path, a spiritual path, you're aligned with your higher calling, there's so much creative energy and connection with the community that it uplifts you and moves you forward. So for him, this is a challenge, is moving forward and, and really believing in this connection, feeling, embracing that sense of success. You know, it, it, he knows it's the right path for him, um, but there's like some hesitation there. Well, big hesitation with the Nine of Swords at the heart space. I mean, um, but ultimately, you know, in the, in the 5D realm, he feels very successful about this connection. So it is a challenge, though. So why, I, you know, I, I think I understand why it's a challenge. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um, but what the heck, let's just pull a card from the top. Give up. Okay, so the challenge is not to give up and to believe um, in this, that this union can actually happen, that it, you know, that it is indeed a success. And if you just, you know, turn inward, inward and feel how this connection makes you feel you know it's it makes you feel alive and passionate and you, you know you don't have this connection with any other person on earth right it it touches you on every realm oh sorry okay so what is the challenge for the feminine is Queen of Cups. So uh, this was the final outcome for the Twin Flame reading that I did, what, four days ago, something like that. Uh, so her challenge is to be open and loving towards the union, to share her heart, right? Over here we have the Knight of Cups, but it's pointing away from the heart space. And when you look at the Queen of Cups in, on this, in this perspective, you know, she is indeed looking towards a union. So the challenge is to give unconditional love, um, to be loving and nurturing. Right? I'm looking at that star card. Um, this is also psychic and intuitive ability. So what the heck, let's pull a card from the top. Let go of them. Her challenge is to let go of them. Okay. So, you know, there's always that desire to reach out to show the masculine how much you care and, um, you know, I'm not really giving him the space to come to that realization fully on his own. But although, I mean, I look at his reading and I can see there's that desire, right, to be together in the 3D reality. Um, it's just taking that step forward. But notice that he's already on his horse, already on the, you know, that horse of fire, the knight of wands. 
So he surpassed the, the page stage, which is planning and having that realization. You can see it all activated in the past there already. So the feminine needs to fully let go of the masculine. Um, you know, if you feel like you want to reach out, go ahead and do that. But there's, you know, spirit is saying to, to let go of them. Fully unattach yourself. Okay, so what is the ad advice? Wow, Three of Swords. I keep seeing this card lately for the masculine. Heartbreak, pain. The advice is to heal your heart. Um, it's these stabbing thoughts that are hurting your heart. Right? This is all sword energy, which is thoughts, mental. You know, that fear, that realization that things are all I'm always going to be in this position I'm never going to have true love um, it's almost like a, a self-pity energy and if you allow that to continue you're always going to be in that stuck phase right and your heart will always feel broken in two right it just like that song by journey um, separate ways so, um, just keep sending out that, you know, loving, healing energy, feminine. Uh, you know, I almost feel like he needs you now more than ever, especially when I've been seeing that Three of Swords so much, and I know that it showed up in the Twin Flame reading as well. Um, so it's a pretty important energy. So let me just pull one card from the top creative block the advice is creative block so instead of focusing on your heart and the pain you've endured in the past you know these are three swords that have pierced your heart and it could even be three people you know that have all betrayed you in the past and you know instead of focusing on this pain to turn your energy into creativity, right? The wand energy, that's all creative energy. Uh, so you are blocked is what I feel. Things will stay the same. You f creative block here. Um, you want to give up. You're starting to lose, lose sight. Um, but really, the drive within you cannot be um, contained. It's going to explode at some point okay so what is the advice for the feminine oh nice ten of cups that keeps on showing up as well and it's kind of interesting how I said you know this is like the ten of cups manifested into the 3d reality so here we have it happily ever after the advice is to let go and be that loving energy um, find that balance within yourself and and the advice is is to just exude love, right? Um, I'm almost getting that this energy is kind of an outcome energy, right? It's it's this love is there already, you so just feel it. Um, so you know what I'm gonna pull. Two cards from Osho Zen, and I'm going to read those to you. Normally, I choose um, the mermaid deck. So let's look at the overall energy for the masculine side first. It is the Princess of Pentacles? So this is like the uh, Page of Pentacles, right? So it could mean communication in the 3D reality. Um, but it is starting a new life, planning, preparation. This could mean moving, uh, starting a new job. But it's an activation, like an intention has been set. Um, you know, there's still a lot of lessons to learn with the page, but there's this 
uh, inspiration or idea of beginning a new life in the 3D reality. He wants to share his life with the feminine. You know, he wants to be open. He he feels her in in the 5D, and he feels her in her heart, in his heart. Um, you know, and he wants he wants that in that kind of life in the 3D reality, right? So this is the energy that you're projecting out is is 3D love for the feminine. That's all we got here is pentacles and cups, you know, except for the star card, which is air. So it seems to me like the feminine wants to manifest this happily ever after into the 3D reality. Um, so much so that it could in fact be pushing things away, right? It's activating fears within the masculine. He's afraid of having his heart broken. That's why the Nine of Swords is in his heart space. He doesn't want this to happen, so he's he's blocking his heart. He's protecting his heart. So masculines, don't do that. Okay, so for the feminine's overall energy is nine of pentacles. That's awesome. So freedom, independence, and you can see that over and over again on her side of the reading. She's she is focused on manifesting manifesting her her reality, her dreams into reality, um, and just sending love out to the universe. But this is the nine is. Harvest, ripeness, readiness. She um, is ready to step into that Ten of Pentacles at any time. You know, she feels like she has arrived on so many levels already. And this card is a self love card. Right? So she's putting, you know, she may be going to get massages or meditating or, you know, treating herself to. A movie or restaurants or you know vacation but a lot of um, freedom independence and self-love is her overall energy and again it's pentacle 3d so both the overall cards are about the 3d reality you know it's like the masculine's ready to start this new connection or a new life with the feminine and wants to offer her something right and she's reaching out and taking it or you know also offering something to him they you know they both have their their hands extended and facing each other uh, you know and here she's the nine of Pentacles and he holds that final Pentacle to make it a ten of Pentacles so there's a desire to come together um, very similar energies even though they're different cards, they're they're matching because they're different decks. That makes sense. So, yeah, um, let me pull two cards from the Osho Zen. So, what are the final messages from the universe? Stop for the feminine. Wow, the master, awesome. And for the masculine is <laughs> schizophrenia. That's freaking hilarious. And that's exactly perfect. That's exactly what I see on the feminine side. She is like totally zenned in this, this tranquil lagoon, um, just flowing, you know, abundance and love flowing into her life. And you know she's she feels like she's mastered so many levels where while the masculine is kind of holding on for dear life he he's afraid of letting go and fully um, falling into love okay so let me read those two so Osho Zen actually added this as an extra card so there is a numberless card and I will eventually find it. There it is. Okay. And I love how there's that full moon on top of his head. 
Can you see how the energy is kind of vibrating? It's almost like you're on mushrooms or something. Okay, so it says, The master in Zen is not a master over others, but a master of himself. His every gesture and his every word reflects his enlightened state. He has no private goals, no desire that anything should be other than the way it is. His disciples gather around him not to follow him, but to soak up his presence and be inspired by his example. In his eyes they find their own truths reflected, and in his silence they fall more easily into the silence of their own beings. The master welcomes the disciples not to, because he wants to lead them. There you go. Be a student or follow. So it's like she, she is not embodying the master identity. She is just falling into stillness, just being in Zen. Do you know what I mean? Letting, letting go. It is a challenge for her to let go, but she, she, that is a mission of hers. Okay, so where was I? Okay, the master welcomes his disciples not because he wants to lead them, but because he has so much to share. Together they create a, an energy field that supports each unique individual in finding him his or her own light. If you can find such a master, you are blessed. If you cannot, keep on searching. Learn from the teachers and the would-be masters and move on. Uh, and then there's a saying, and then it's, it's just, I keep on moving. So, uh, yeah, that's beautiful, right? She, she is mastering a state of Zen. You can see that with, you know, the hope card, uh, you know, same thing up here with the nine of pentacles, the king of pentacles, uh, the Queen of Hearts, the Ten, the Ten, every single card, you know, even the Knight here, every single card is about Zen energy and feeling that within yourself, exuding Zen. Not only feeling it within yourself, but also in the 3D reality as well. Wow, very, very powerful. Okay, so the masculine got the two of swords. Oh, wow, I almost opened it right to the page. Okay, so man is split. Schizophrenia is a normal condition of man, at least now. Um, it may not have been so in the primitive world, but centuries of conditioning, civilization, culture, and religion have made man uh, a crowd, divided, split, and contradi contradictory. Oh, my freaking God, I can't talk. But because the split is against his nature, deep down somewhere hidden, the unity still survives. Because the soul of a man is one, all the conditioning at the most destroys the periphery of the man. But the center remains untouched. That's how man continues to live. But his life has become hell. And yeah, you can see that, right? In the periphery of his energy, right? The judgment, it's reviewing your life and seeing how you've been conditioned, seeing how you've been split. Right, and feeling this deep love within yourself and wanting and desiring to have a different life, to share your love and your life with somebody, your twin flame, your soulmate, but but having this contradictory thought stabbing at you, holding you back, keeping you in fear. So the whole effort at Zen is how to drop the schizophrenia, how to drop the split personality, how to drop the divided man, mind of the man, how to become undivided, integrated, centered, and crystallized. The way you are, you cannot say that you are. You don't have a being. You are a marketplace, many voices. If you want to say yes immediately, the no is there. You cannot even utter a simple word yes with totality. In this way, happiness is not possible. Unhappiness is a natural consequence of a split personality. Boom, baby. Right, so that's his overall energy, realizing how conditioning has split his mind, has split spirituality and, you know, the 3D reality. And it's always keeping him in that, you know, cognitive dissonance state of mind. So it is through the feminine that he can see that 
there's a different existence that that ex exists out there, right? And he can be happy, he can be free, he can have true love. He just has to believe in it and open up his heart to the experience. Um, so let me read this, okay? So there are, there's actually two descriptions for each card, so I'm going to read the other part of it. So it says, the person on this card um, brings a new twist to an old idea of getting stuck between a rock and a hard place. But we are precisely, but we are in precisely this sort of situation when we get stuck in the indecisive and dualistic aspects of the mind. Should I let my arms go and fall head first and let my legs go and fall feet first? Should I go here or there? Should I say yes or no? And whatever decision we make, we will always wonder if we should have decided the other way. The only way out of the dilemma is unfortunately to let go of both at once. You can't work your way out of this one by solving it. Make a list of pros and cons or in any way working it out within your mind. Better to follow your heart if you can find it. If you can't find it, um, just jump your heart will start uh, beating so fast that there will be no mistake about where it is. So yeah, it's just jump, just let go, just fucking go for it, brother. Seriously. Um, these fears are holding you back and you will forever be in that space. So yeah, fly free like those little birds up in the sky there. Follow your heart. All right, so let me know what you guys think about this. I love you so much. Cheers.